Today with us from Cebu City in the Philippines is skilled furniture designer Bernardo. He found a creative way of combining businesses with helping people in disaster areas struck by typhoons. He started a furniture line which transforms uh, debris and driftwood into beautiful elegant furniture. So Bernardo, you mostly work in Tacloban. How do you benefit the people of this village? Well, we go out to Tacloban and we scout for debris in the outskirts of Tacloban city. Uh, we buy from the affected Filipinos where we buy their scrap wood and debris and bring it to Cebu city. Once here we turn it into one of a kind piece of furniture. Once we sell it, we give 10% back to the original owner. And do you tell them that when you buy the debris from them? No, we don't mention the 10%. Um, the reason behind this is we don't want to create false hopes just in, the, just in case we don't sell it. And we don't want to give them an incentive to start taking down their houses just to give us a debris. And what does the future look like for Tacoban Prevails? Is it going to be in a different city as well? Well, for from five years from now, when we look back at Tacoban Prevails, we would like to see it as one of the many Bernardo Bina projects. Uh, we are proving that this business model works. A uh, business model where we involve the people that need help, we make them part of the project. It creates more of a culture that right? the buyer and the user be part. Um, and we, are, we know it's possible to adapt this same business model in different locations. For example, other islands that need help, not necessarily by natural disasters, but it can be a community that uh, needs to be uplifted, uh, create awareness of some, some sort. So it's like a bridge communication that we are creating uh, between the end user and the affected Filipino through furniture. Thanks for sharing your story and for more interesting stories, go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.